Good kitten internet, and I am a floating head because I actually am wearing green today, and even though I flipped my green screen to a blue screen, it's still close enough. Um, I'm not doing so great in the brain today, so I decided to make this a relatively simple video, and I wanted to show off something that I've been working on. So, um, this is Tabletop Simulator for reference. Uh, Tabletop Simulator, can't see below my neck. The way I have the camera zoom. Oh, um, Tabletop Simulator is a program for lots of different platforms that allow you to, well, simulate a tabletop. Some people use it for role playing. Some people use it for board gaming. Most people use it for board gaming. And inside of Tabletop Sim, there are various mods. Um, I don't think I can show the mod because I think I'm only capturing. Yeah, I'm only capturing uh, TTS itself, but. You, there are thousands, tens of thousands, whatever number of mods in Tabletop Simulator. And what I'm showing is one that I created. So this is Ticket to Ride. Specifically, this is Ticket to Ride Legendary Asia. Um, this map, there are lots of Ticket to Ride games on Tabletop Simulator. Or pretty much every official and lots and lots of unofficial maps in the game. However, this one map does not exist anywhere. Which is a shame because it's my favorite map. So I created it. So what you're seeing is a very basic board of tabletop sim. Um, there's no scripting in this, but there are a lot of what are called snap points. All of these little dots that you see on the board, I'll zoom in so you all can see a little bit better. Um, all of these little dots that you're seeing on the board, each one of these is a snap point that allows a train to be aligned to the grid. So for instance, I drop a train here, and it aligns itself. Now, not all of the alignment is perfect because, well, be honest, the reason why it's not perfect is that there's only um, 24 degrees of rotation for any of these snap points, so I these angles are not necessarily the greatest. But anyway... Um, I scanned this in. So one of my complaints about a lot of mods of tabletop sim is that the board is of a really low quality. Uh, let's see if I can load up an example really fast. Workshop. This one was a particularly bad example. So this is power grid, uh, specifically the low countries. But if you zoom in, oh boy, does that look terrible. Holy crap. Some of this is basically unreadable even, and it has to do with the way that they took images of the board. So for my game, what I did was do an extremely high quality scan of the board. Now, what you're seeing in tabletop sim is actually downsized by a factor of four, which is to say that the length is halved and the width is halved from the scanned image that I have, because I figured people wouldn't appreciate having like a half gigabyte image of a board game. But you can zoom in and you can see this is still easily readable. You can even zoom in further. And yeah, that's when you start seeing a little bit of the um, distortion. But this is really high quality, sort of. So what you may not be able to notice that I had some issues scanning in the board. And if you zoom in far enough, you will start seeing where I start masking some of the problems. Like for instance, this is a very weird border between countries. Um, another example. Yeah, there's a little bit of a echo over here. Um, the little design that's around Karachi isn't quite right. Thunder. Um, the worst one is this Kraken in the sea. You zoom in, you'll notice that it's kind of repeated over here. That's because, ooh, my face is partially transparent now. It wasn't before. Picking up my glasses. Anyway, um, so what it is is that I had to scan each of these pieces. You'll also notice the fold on the board. This is actually in the actual board that I scanned this from for reference. But um, unfortunately, my scanner is not very big. So when I did the scans, I had to assemble things. And there were certain sections that were, shall we say, corrupted as a result. Um, 
Let me hold on a moment. So this is what it actually looks like. Um, so this is my image of it. You can tell by zooming in, it's a lot higher quality than what shows up in Tabletop Simulator. Um, in fact, here, let me go to one-to-one -one zoom. That is at 100% zoom for reference. So this is the zoom level that I've been working at. Anyway, um, there are a bunch of layers in this. And let me disable some of my fix-it layers, shall we say. Ooh. Um, sometimes I've accidentally used the wrong layer. That's a thing. But you can see, like, um, let me get a drawing tool because I am in a drawing application. Red. You can see, like, over... You can see over here, for instance. Uh, that. There we go. Um, you can see that there's like little transparency errors here and there. What that actually is, is just that I didn't have any of that scan information. So what I did was that I copied and pasted other aspects of the board over. And I intentionally left one error, which is way over here. Um, you can actually even see it in Tabletop Sim. Table that. Uh, you can see it in Tabletop Sim if I... There. You can see the little error that I left in. Um, that's because this is well beyond good enough in my mind. And this took me a lot of effort to actually get scanned correctly. Um, but this was only one step of the process. So for reference, um, each of the board pieces look like this. This is the entire image, and I have six of them. Or more specifically, I have, yeah, I have six of them total. And I basically had to fold the map in order to fit in for each of the images. Now, the one creased section, which is over on the right side that you can see over here, um, that's actually on the board itself. So if I had the board, which I don't have at the moment, but um, if I had the board and you looked at it, you'd see the same creased section. It's just a mistake in the way the board was made. But anyway, tabletop sim. So from there, I ended up creating the snap points. The snap points were the long part because I had two problems. One, I had initially started tagging the snap points, and apparently if you tag the snap points by default, they do nothing, unless you have scripting that says otherwise. And two, this is a really tedious process. None of this was automated. I did all of this by hand, putting down every single snap point so you could, for instance, take a piece and put it nearby and it aligns itself or as previously so seen for the train cars you can just drop a train car and it will align on top of that the game is not exactly precise even even the real version of the game isn't exactly precise so not all of these spots here are actually the same length so for instance this one is 2.6 inches long This one's 2.4 inches long. So I had to figure out um, what size to make the trains in order to have things fit. And when I decided on a size, it turns out that size was very slightly too long. So I actually had to adjust snap points to make sure that you could say, for instance, do this soon, without the trains touching each other. But you can tell from looking, that the snap points aren't actually aligned. There's like little gaps and it's something on my to-do list to fix. Um, other things include all of these tickets. So tickets, in if you haven't played Ticket to Ride, the idea of the game is that you complete tickets and tickets give you points. So for instance, looking into the ticket deck, uh, you're not gonna be able to see that. So I'm just gonna draw a couple of tickets. There we go. Um, so you can see this ticket. It gives you nine points for having a route at the end of the game that goes from Peking to Saigon. Ooh, that's just made a blur. There we go. Although it seems partially transparent. 
why you use green screens and not blue screens, folks. Um, I had to scan all of these in. They're actually scanned at a reasonably high quality, but I knocked the quality down just because the image files were, image sizes were freaking huge. And you don't really need super high quality. So this is actually 100% if I remember right. Um, so I did all of that. And there's no scripting to this mod. So Ticket to Ride, you can actually do script, or not Ticket to Ride, Tabletop Simulator, you can actually do scripting. Things like automatically dealing out cards and stuff like that. I haven't touched any of that yet because all I wanted to do was set this up. I also scanned in the correct pages from the manual. So this is the set of rules for Ticket to Ride Relative Asia, Asia in English. Um, and then the set of rules for Ticket to Ride Europe, which because the way we end up playing Ticket to Ride, we actually borrow the stations from the Europe version of the game and import them into Legendary Asia, which is an optional rule. And this is what I was working on toward the start of the month. Um, again, I kind of ran out of ideas to talk about, and I'm really tired, so I didn't want to start another, like, um, whatchamacallit, um, labels theory video or anything. I just wanted to show off that I did this, and let's see, we'll give an idea as to what some of the other Ticket to Rides look like. So let's go take a look at Ticket to Ride Europe. I don't remember which one's which now. I'm going to go with the non-scripted one just because this one I know. So this is Ticket to Ride Europe. You can tell from zooming in even just a little bit, the scan quality is utter trash. Just, it's garbo. Especially when you zoom in at the little key for scoring. It's just terrible. Also, these stations are really bad. Um, there's no snap points on this, so you can tell that I can just put a station wherever I want. If I click on the snap point feature, you will see that there are zero snap points anywhere. This is a very lazy version of a mod where they don't bother snapping any of the spots on the map. That's the whole point behind using tabletop simulator is so these things help. Um... Yeah, now there are scripted versions of this, of course. This is a scripted version. And you can tell that, see the sheer number of snap points, kind of like what I was dealing with. Um, games go down. Yeah, but you can tell this is the same scan of the map. Or actually, no, it's the same scan of the map. So what somebody did was that they borrowed the assets from that previous version of Ticket to Ride and then just put in all of the snap points and put in automation. So if I go to spotting scripting, you will see a bunch of Lua code. Lua is the scripting language that Tabletop Simulator uses. And I don't know Lua very well. I remember learning a little bit when I was looking into doing mods for Civilization 4, but I remember none of it at this point. So this is what I'm going to have to teach myself. Because what I would like to do, let me load my game back up again. Or I'll just go from the autosave, it's easier. Um, what I would like to do is, for instance, I want... that to happen automatically where you are dealt out cards you take them and so on i want the dealing to happen automatically there's a special rule in ticket to ride where these are wild cards for reference if there are three engines that are revealed at the same time all of the face-up cards get discarded and you get redealt to more cards i want my script to be able to handle that for you I want my script to be able to go where you can click on something and it automatically puts down the engines for you. I want my script to be able to count how many engines have been heated off of the cliff. So um, Ticket to Ride Asia has a mechanic where going through mountains, so for instance, like Kathmandu to Mandalay, um, going through mountains, you have to, for every one of those symbols, you take a train car and put it inside of, in this case, I put it in a bowl, but you basically just store it in this area and you get two points per train car. I want the game to be able to count 
the number of yeeted train cars for each player, because that's a silly thing that our group likes to do. In addition, I want the game to score things for us. One of the very common problems that we have in Ticket to Ride, especially in real life version of Ticket to Ride, is that we forget to score things. So luckily in the case of Ticket to Ride, you can calculate your score easily because you could just look at, for instance, I have this route and one yeeted train, actually make it accurate. I have this route with one yeeted train station. Uh, this route is four points plus an additional two points for the yeeted engines means that I should actually be at six. You can reverse engineer your points in Ticket to Ride. I just don't want to have to think about it, and I want to let the game figure it out for me. That's going to require a lot of scripting. And these are kind of like the future things that I want to be able to do. I don't know if it's worth it or not. It's just a hobby project, basically. And I don't even have this distributed on Steam because, well, I don't exactly own the assets to Ticket to Ride. Not even close. But anyway, just thought I would show off. That and I don't really have much else to talk about today. I can't go on a walk because it's thunderstorm and lightning. Very, very frightening. Side. I'm tired. My brain doesn't want to work. I haven't eaten anything today, even though it's 1412 right now. Um, I'm supposed to cook today, but I haven't really had much of a chance. Well, I've had a chance. I've just haven't had the will to be able to cook. One of those days where I would normally just order food or do a instant prep thing, but kind of have to cook some chicken today. Anyway, I'll talk to you later, Internet. Bye. Ah, I bump into things. Really me.